What's going on guys? So it is crazy windy out here today. We, we got like 40 mile an hour wind gusts going on pretty much all day. And look what we have in front of us. So I gotta give the biggest possible shout out to the folks over at ROA Off-Road for providing me their Palomino paws for two months to do a long-term evaluation on this thing. Check it out. This is like one of my most exciting RV days I've ever had. The minute I saw one of these in Indiana, I was like, man, I really, really would love to see what this thing's all about. And I've had so many opportunities now with the folks at ROA Off-Road and uh, outside of Salt Lake City, you know, not only inviting me up there to film them, but also providing me one of their very own units, one of the only ones that they have. And they actually sell these units at their uh, South Carolina location, which is really, really cool but check this bad boy out. We have it being pulled in right next to the Brookstone. These are, are pretty tall, to be honest. Nowhere near as tall as a fifth wheel, but still pretty tall. Check this bad boy out. Okay, so with me, I have the transportation gentleman, Jonathan, who actually brought this down using his absolutely beautiful GMC heavy duty 3500 truck with the Duramax. How do you like your truck? Very good. Diesel, a lot of power. Oh, I bet. So, very, very good. Very stable, very strong. Do you like your multi-pro so, tailgate? Yes. Oh, yeah. Very cool. So, <laughs> you are using a very interesting hitch setup here. How did this yes. tow going down the road? Okay, this uh very good, I say, because it's two axle. Uh-huh. And at the two axle, you can control the height. So, that helps you a lot to level oh, yeah. your truck. So, even with the hitch, it's perfect with the hitch. Because the hitch gives me more um, more height uh, yeah. more height or low, whatever I want to. And then on, on top of that, I can control the with airbags. The iPod, yeah. So I can put my level. As, a, as you can see, it's very straight. Yeah, and that's, that's, so that, that's awesome okay. because, yeah, typically you're fighting to make sure your truck and trailer are level. But with the yes. suspension here, you can just add some air and raise it up. Yeah. Uh, so that way, as you can see, very, very stable. Yeah, very, very, very cool. Very stable. Had no problem. I mean, right now it is. I mean, tell them it's windy outside. It's, windy, yeah. it's very, very, very windy. windy. And um, you traveled all the way down here from just Salt Lake Utah. City, right? So oh, you, yeah. City, yeah. So is this the windiest area that you've traveled through so far, or did you um, hit stronger winds? No, I, sometimes I get stronger. Okay, and this yeah. thing towed perfectly fine. Perfect. Very cool. Well, you, you definitely. Obviously, obviously yeah. I slow down to make sure I'm safe. But uh, yeah, I mean, very, very good. Well, and, and you have the right truck for it too, so that one too, that's yeah. matters, yeah. And those tires uh, help a lot. They do, okay. They help a lot. Very cool. Well, Jonathan, I truly appreciate it. We're going to get this thing uncoupled, dropped off. Do um, you get a lot of people looking at this thing when you're yes. driving? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people are every like eyeballing this. Every gas station, I have people coming in and, uh, oh, nice trailer, blah, blah, blah. Ask me, uh, sometimes they ask me questions about yeah. it. But oh, yeah. yeah. That is super well, cool, man. Even this on thing the freeway, is awesome. I see people recording me, so it's kind of <laughs> cool. So yeah, you you yeah. very well may have uh, have captured this gentleman on the road pulling this thing down to me. If you did, let me know. I'd love to know if you saw this getting towed down the road by this beautiful GMC Sierra 3500 pickup truck. Very cool, well, Jonathan. Let's get this thing uncoupled and uh, and get going with it, brother. Yeah, let's get it ready. Okay, so we have the two hitches, so you can have the the ball one or this one okay like whatever you want but i think this one it's a little bit better for off-road mm -hmm. so i recommend this one off-road because okay. that way you can this can twist so your trailer stays stable okay okay there you go all right so well right now it's off so i need to go get the ipod Sure, you go all the way. Yeah, so the stairs don't hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is so cool. Okay, so friends. Come on, that's fine, right? Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, wow. Okay, right there. Okay. So that's the male, female, or whatever they call it. Okay. All right, so before Jonathan leaves, I had to show you his engine on his truck. So of course this is a 6.6 .6 liter 
Duramax inside of his truck. What year is your truck? It's a 2022. This is a 2022 GMC Sierra 3500. And how many miles do you have on here? 117, 756. Yeah, 117,000 miles, almost 118,000 miles on this truck in one year. So for those of you who, who are questioning the reliability of this Duramax, have you had any problems with it at all? No problems. Nothing at all. And you had a truck before this too, right? What kind yes, of truck? Yes, uh, we have a uh, Silverado. Okay. A 3500 also, a dually. It was a dually, okay. Yeah. So pretty much the same, but a dually. Okay, how many miles did you put on that truck? That one, I put it in six months, 70,000 miles. Oh my gosh. In six months. That's crazy. Well, this truck is beautiful. I actually, I saw the truck when I was getting here, I was actually behind you in traffic and I called you and I saw the truck when you turned, I was like, that's a really good looking truck. <laughs> so, I mean, with all that driving, would you recommend this truck to someone if they were gonna go look for a, a heavy duty truck? Oh yeah, 100%. I said GMC, uh, the way it drives, very soft, very comfortable, drives like a car. Uh, when you don't have loads or you're just driving yeah. use the truck, it's like a, driving a car. Yeah. Uh, we do have a BMW and uh, trust me, it's like kind of the same. Yeah. Even I feel my truck softer yeah. than the yep. BM. But uh, no, I recommended the GMC Sierra yeah. very, very Duramax. Cool. Perfect. Yep, and he's got his five-year-old over there. She is absolutely oh, yeah. adorable. Um, I'm not gonna get her on camera, but yeah, absolutely adorable. But he was showing me, he's like, you know what? You, it's how you take care of your truck. And he keeps his engine compartment like spotless. If you if you pulled into a dealership lot and saw this there in this condition, you would think that the truck has like 5,000 miles on it. Yeah. So really, really nice. Well, Jonathan, I know you're eager to get on the road. I gave him a couple of restaurant suggestions if he's in town. So hopefully he checks some of those out. Again, we'll really appreciate it, brother. Hey, thank, thank you, you. JD. Safe travels. Thank you. Okay, so we have this absolutely beautiful Palomino Paws unhitched. And if you're wondering what model this is, this is the XC20.3. This thing is absolutely insanely nice. You know, we had a Black Series for a while, and I want to be honest with you, when you compare this to that, it, it's hard to compare the two because there's just so many things about this unit that stand out well and above just about any other off-road RV, aside from maybe the Roamer 1 that the folks at ROA also have. This thing is super cool. And again, we're going to have this for two months, so I'm going to be able to give you a lot of really good insights into how I think this, you know, this RV is. We're going to take this out to the beach. We're going to try to tow it with the Denali, the 1500 Denali with that three liter diesel. And we're also going to tow it with the F450. After speaking with Jonathan, who brought it down here in an absolutely beautiful 2022 GMC Sierra 3500 truck with the 6.6 liter Duramax, he said it was absolutely no problem towing. And like I said, we have some really, really high winds today. The gusts are probably exceeding 45 miles an hour. And you'd definitely be able to tell if you're towing something and how it's affecting the tow vehicle in those types of winds, especially if you get a, a crosswind gust. Uh, that said, I moved it out here with the tractor. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how much the actual tongue weight is on this trailer. I can't use my conventional tongue weight hitch or my way safe hitch because this has a mic hitch on it which is a super premium hitch. And yeah, this thing's designed to fully articulate and move any way that you need to move if you're going over really crazy off-road terrain environments. So we're probably gonna get the uh, Celaton platform scale out here in a future video to actually see exactly what the tongue weight is. And then we'll probably put this on the other four pads that I have to weigh the entire unit as if we were going to a cat scale. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm gonna give you a really great comparison comparing this hitch versus the articulating hitch that normally comes on this unit. So if you didn't know, or you didn't watch the video at ROA Off-Road, this is a mic hitch and this is an australian built hitch that is really really premium these are awesome and they articulate every which way whereas the folks from palomito include a two and five sixteenths inch ball hitch that's also articulating so there are some key differences there and i can see right off the bat why somebody might prefer the mic hitch just from hooking it up to the tractor and moving it around the, the process is is so nice and and we'll also go over that in a future video uh, of course we're going to give you all sorts of tours again show you what this thing's all about i've actually requested if the folks from palomino can send me a small sample of the composite sidewall or this this foam panel sidewall material because i'd really like to demonstrate just you know the material itself how strong it is and and what it's capable of doing i think that's going to be really cool as well 
Um, all aluminum huck bolts. This thing is cool. It has auto leveling on it. I have the uh, Garmin tablet out here right now where you can control literally everything uh, from the tablet. It is absolutely insane, all the controls that you can actually have from the tablet itself. So that is really cool. Um, this thing is probably the definition of smart. It's got insane solar on top of it. It's got lighting all around it. And from a manufacturing perspective, a lot of people want to know, where is this built? Where is this manufactured? This is about as American made as an RV can get. They've sourced most of the components here in the States. Uh, a lot of the components are manufactured here in the States. Uh, they really, really wanted to make a, an almost entirely US built RV. And I think they did a pretty good job, especially, you know, considering it's Palomino. Palomino is known for a lot of RVs that just typically aren't considered this premium. You know, they have the Columbus and they have, you know, uh, the River Ranch and some really, really beautiful fifth wheels for sure. They have some lighter weight towables, but they have the Puma and they have some entry level, mid level, high level stuff all across the, the, the range. But when it comes to ultra premium, that's really where something like this, it's hard to compete against this. I mean, just full air suspension has a custom Moride suspension that was actually designed in collaboration with the folks at Moride. Check that out. Like 15 inches of suspension movement. You can raise this thing 15 inches in the air. That is insane. Uh, we did that at ROA Off-Road over in Utah, and you could see this thing looks like, like Skeletor. It's just way, way up in the air. Um, you know, if you need that, that's great. If you don't need that, well, it's a feature that you have in case you do need it. Uh, On-demand hot water heater, um, has a ton of lithium, and you probably in that video saw the specific battery system, charging system, uh, everything that's in here, and you're definitely gonna wanna hang around if you wanna see uh, a more detailed view of all of that stuff because they went with premium, premium solar, premium batteries, premium inverters, premium chargers, everything, which is super, super cool. You got your traction boards back here, Goodyear Wrangler tires. I mean, look at that. That's like an automotive style bumper on here. That's like the type of bumper you throw on your pickup truck. This thing is so freaking cool. And I'm so excited to be able to show this to you all. Um, in a much longer, more concise, you know, series of videos that will really, really showcase what uh, what this thing's all about. Now, am I going to be able to put this through the type of off-road conditions and terrains that the folks at ROA Off-Road can? No, absolutely not. Not even close. Uh, they have Moab. They have crazy, crazy Utah conditions. They have the stuff that's essentially imprinted on the side of this in terms of graphics available to them. I don't have that. So I'm not going to be able to show some of that stuff um, in my videos. But I will be able to take it out to the beach. I will be able to take it out to a few different conditions and kind of show you what it's all about. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this overview video. I am super, super pumped up about this thing. We're gonna make a lot of videos on this. We're gonna have a lot of content. We're gonna go over just about everything we can. And even if we find some flaws, we'll talk about those too. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Check out the link in the description of this video if you wanna see more um, about these Palomino pauses from the folks at ROA. They sell these at their South Carolina dealership. So uh, definitely check them out. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, again, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.